A few years ago, in 2012, I got into solar panels. I bought and installed my first set and they have been generating power ever since. They are installed on the shed and last year I upgraded the inverter to one made by Omnixol. When I got the Omnixol inverter I especially asked for an older version 602 Wi-Fi module. Reason being is the option to get the inverter statistics using a TCP port on these modules. I knew this would work because I had seen Wouter's code on GitHub. Wouter has made a data logger in Python and I have been using it to get the statistics for my inverter. I did make a few changes to his Python code to be able to output the stats to MQTT. This has all been running fine on a Raspberry Pi, but I had a feeling I could improve on the system. As a programming language, I prefer Node.js over Python because I'm more familiar with it. And I prefer firmware in a microcontroller over software on a Pi. Recently I found some code by RNV on GitHub that does the same thing as Wouter's code but is written in C. This made it really easy for me to write a sketch in the Arduino IDE for the ESP32. I was able to reuse large parts of RNV's code without much modification. I decided to use the same ESP32 as the one used in a previous video and because it has an integrated OLED display we will also be using it to display the statistics. Now I will not go over the complete sketch because it's basically the same as the one I used last time with the YouTube counter project. Only thing that was added was the MQTT part and of course I had to add some functions for the Omnixol. Now the Omnixol only works when you send it a magic package on TCP port 8899. But this magic message is not the same for all the inverters. You have to calculate it using the inverter serial number, which is being done in this function. The other functions are used to actually store the received data in variables and send them out over the serial port MQTT and to the OLED display. Hit the button to compile and upload and make sure that we have selected the correct board type and serial port in the Arduino IDE. In my case the ESP32. It's compiling, uploading and if everything went well we should connect to the Wi-Fi. We should connect to the Omnixol inverter and get the stats. Display is already running and we will wait for the stereo port monitor to also display the stats. There you go. At the time of filming we are almost nearing December and here in the Netherlands there isn't much solar power available. But it still makes more than enough power, at least more than the old inverter did. Now let's have a look at the MQTT part. I will open up MQTT FX, connect to my MQTT broker which is running on my Synology and I will subscribe to the ESP32 topic using a wildcard. And it looks like all the data is there. It's the ESP32's own data like name, IP address, firmware version. MAC address and so on and so on. And I want to look at the JSON data that is sent out by the ESP32 that was collected from the Omnixol inverter. Let's make it a little bit more easier to read. And it looks like valid JSON data. Now the only thing I have to do is disable the Python script running on my Raspberry Pi. And that's another project sorted. Thanks for watching and if you enjoy this kind of videos, like, comment or subscribe.